In today's continuing series of audio glossary or audio terms explained, I'm going to talk about the term headroom. As with most of these, um, you know, audio glossary or term topics, I'm not going to do a deep dive into the technical background. I'm just going to explain basically what it means and what the impact is in the quality of your system or what you're going to hear in listening. Basically, the term headroom refers to the ability normally we talk of at short term. So for, you know, instances where there's a sudden crescendo in music or an explosion uh, effect in the movie where the system can actually output more sound output more signal for a short duration to cover that big dynamic explosion or dynamic crescendo in music without compressing. Most of us know that, you know, amplifier power tends to be re rated at, you know, continuous watts or watts RMS as it's normally, normally termed. So that's how much, if I, if I put a resistive 8 ohm load on the output of an amplifier, crank it up to it's just at the verge of clipping and leave it there, that's the measured continuous power, whatever that power rating is. However, well-designed amplifiers, whether they're built into AVRs or receivers or integrateds or they're standalone amplifiers, will normally have some capability and capacity for headroom. So for short periods of time, the amplifier can actually deliver higher than its rated continuous power. Now, why is that important? Well, if your speakers will handle every bit of that power, um, of the continuous power, and like I said, there's a instantaneous event that requires more power in the music or movie that you're that you're listening to or watching that headroom means that the speaker will be able to take that extra power and produce that without compression now one of the biggest things that ruins the you know the immersive experience and lifelike experience particularly if you're listening at you know concert levels or movies at reference levels is compression. Because what happens is that compression puts the brakes on at some point and the sound just doesn't get louder. And if now the audio system is not following the input signal that's saying you need to get louder and the system, because of lack of headroom or lack of amplifier power, or additionally, lack of capability of the loudspeaker to play any louder, now compresses that signal well, guess what? That's a form, a massive form of distortion. And in systems that are regularly compressing, it can really ruin the experience. This is why many people will upgrade their amplifier section so that they can track those peaks without compression. I've talked mainly about the amplifier side with headroom. Loudspeakers also will have some uh, amount of headroom, but because they're mechanical devices as much as they are electrical devices, we have to remember that there are limits. Diaphragms, domes, cones, whatever, can only move so far. They're gonna hit a stop point at some point and not be able to play any louder. There's also things going on with the electromagnetic circuit in terms of the, the voice coils heating up and other things that can uh, lend to compression of the loudspeaker. Again, it's a good rule of thumb to have as much amplifier power or a little bit more than the max continuous power rating of your speakers. Then the likelihood is, is that the amplifier is not going to go into clipping or be uh, the compressor. Now, if you find that your system just doesn't play loud enough, you may have to get a larger pair of speakers, particularly if you've got you know, a large space that you're trying to fill. So headroom, headroom is a good thing. Headroom means that for those momentary effects or, or musical moments that require a sudden shift in level, a sudden shift in dynamics, that require more power and more capability from your system, 
Headroom is your friend and will allow it to deliver that. One further thing before I finish up that I'd like to point out. Headroom is a very, very difficult specification to define or to measure. And that's why in many cases you won't see it. But what you can look at is look at things like the storage capacity of the power supply in an amplifier. That will, in some cases, tell you how much potential capability of delivering more power an amplifier has. And also, it's a matter of talking to, you know, whether it's dealers or the manufacturer about the dynamic or the headroom capability of the amplifier or the loudspeaker, so that you know um, for those instantaneous peaks that you can actually get a little bit more output out of the system. So I hope that explains the term headroom, what it means, why we talk about it, and why it's always a good thing to have if available. Thanks again, as always, for watching.